To read the book now, it, it felt different because I've lived through different experiences and I'm like, yeah, you would hope people would tell you what's going on, but you would have no idea. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Today we're talking about the book, Leave the World Behind. This book was written by Ruman Alam. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature suspense. So first of all, I gotta tell you, I listened to this audiobook a long, long time ago and I'll put the clip here. It was like 170 something weeks ago because I saw it and you know I judge every book by its cover and I was like, okay, that looks good, let's read it. Well, fast forward and the author actually comes to the Columbus Metropolitan Library my hometown library and so i went to see him live so that really made me pick up this book again back when i read the book i wasn't doing book reviews so i don't feel bad that i didn't do the review then right but i did reread it and i i would reread it right so we're gonna jump straight to seven <laughs> i would reread this again because this was exceptional. It was very, very good. So let me tell you some things that I picked up in rereading that I don't know if I paid attention to the first time I read the book. So for one, it was this quote. You never know when a time is going to be your last because if you did, you could never go on with life. So that quote is so important because this book is full of detail and what you would think is minutia. This is what we picked up at the store. This is how much a package of crackers cost this, all of those little things that you're like, yeah, that, we do that. We go to the store, we buy this, we buy that. But then later on, these people are dealing with this event. They have no idea what it is, but they know that it shatters glass, shuts down sales service. And when you get extra people in the store and they're eating the cherries, they're drinking the wine and you're like, I just bought that wine. Why are they, you know what I mean? Then it becomes more relevant when you have to share it with other people. And to read the book right now, after everything that happened in 2020, and you're just like, I definitely had a different appreciation for the lack of communication. The fact that Amanda and Clay were desperate to know what was happening and they could not find out anything, right? And to be honest, had GH never showed up, they never would have known. They would have just been on vacation and not had TV, right? And so to read the book now, it, it felt different because I've lived through different experiences and I'm like, yeah, you would hope people would tell you what's going on, but you would have no idea. I even had more of an appreciation for the neighbor when they go see him and he's like, I empathize with you, but you need to go. I'm taking care of my family, right? And so I remember first time I read it, I was like, oh my God, he's such a jerk. And the second time you read it, you're like, he's just protecting his own. I, when there's a lack of information, you cling to what you know. And what I know is I'm sitting here, this desk is here, this book is here, <laughs> right? You cling to the things that you know. So there was a different appreciation for the book. And I even remember when I first read the book, I remember the flamingo scene being so prevalent in my mind. And to see them up close the way they do in the book, would terrify me <laughs> and so i found myself smiling when i got to the flamingo part but by far the part with the deer really took my breath away so when rose sees all the deer and you're just like can you even imagine and she's like am i tired no i am seeing that right and she's like but i'm outside in the woods is this even a big deal to mention and i don't know if she had mentioned it if it would have meant anything but that part really, really jumped out at me this time because you definitely don't see that, right? It takes me back to when I saw him live at the Columbus Metropolitan Library and he had a question and answer section and somebody asked the question and they were like, well, what did you want us to get when we read that? And he said, and I, I remember it, I can hear him saying it, it's not what I wanted you to see. Every reader has a different story, different background, different experience. You are to take the words that I wrote and see them in a way that makes sense to you. Right, he was like, I could never write a book if the whole time I'm writing to be like, I hope they see this, I hope they think he's, I write the words, you see them, you take the story and decide, they're the protagonist, they're the antagonist, they're the villain, you do that, I can't do that. And I was like, dang. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense, right? I was already writing down notes because 
someone had asked the question and they go, I know you said when you were young, you wanted to be a writer. How did you know you were a writer? And Ramana Lam said, no one gives you permission to be a writer. If you write, you are a writer. If Kyla, don't, don't just let these be decor. <laughs> if you write, you are a writer. It was cool to see the author behind the books and it definitely made me pick up this book again. Okay, so we did this in a little bit different of an order. <laughs> we did one through four, then number seven, then five and six, the important quote to me and why it was important. But I will tell you that I definitely enjoyed the book, Leave the World Behind. I definitely enjoyed seeing the author live, seeing him talk. And I really was captivated when I reread the story and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool, right? Now that my experiences have changed, I saw the book in a different way, all right? So let me know. Have you read the book, Leave the World Behind? Have you read any of the books by the author, Ruman Alam? Okay, and I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. <laughs> Bye.